What's going on guys? Today we're gonna be installing some LED headlights on the Jeep. So I was never a big fan of these halogen headlights. They're not very bright. They don't work very well. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be swapping this out for some actual LED headlights. So these are the headlights that we're gonna be installing today. So these LED headlights are gonna be much brighter than these stock halogen headlights. So these are original Mopar headlights. You can see the difference. They're a lot higher quality than those halogen bulbs. So first things first, we're gonna start by popping the hood. You're just gonna start over here, pop this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one right here. Now that the clips are out, you just give it a little pull and the grill should come right out. So now what you're left with is three 10 millimeter bolts right here. You have to get out to take this headlight out. So we're gonna go ahead and get our 10 millimeter socket, get those taken out, and then get these headlights swapped out. So the next step that you're gonna have to do is once you actually take the headlight out, there's gonna be a little clip right here you have to take off. So there you go. Easy as that, they just pop right off there. So now what you're gonna do is the exact same thing. Just clip it in, put the headlight in, we're gonna screw it back together and we should be good to go to put the grill back on. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn the car on, make sure we have all the headlights and everything working. The last thing we want to do is get everything back together and have to take it all apart again. So if you notice right here, the halo is not lit. You need to get a Taser JL Mini, and we're going to go inside because I have one installed, and we're going to go ahead and turn that on and see if it works. So using the menu right here, I navigated over to the lighting, and then you can see where it says Halo Enabled. We're going to go ahead and change that to Yes, and that should fix the problem. You also want to make sure to change the LED headlights to Yes. So the Jeep is rebooting right now. I think it takes about, usually, two, two and a half minutes to reboot, and after it reboots, you want to let it go through three cycles before turning the vehicle on. So you essentially want to turn the key off, open the door, let all the lights and the Jeep go out. You do that three times, and then you should be good to go and everything should work properly. So just after taking a quick drive, I can already see how much better the headlights are. Gonna go down this little dirt road take a look at it turn on the brights and kind of get a good feel for it so here's off on and there are the brights the brights aren't crazy bright but they're a lot brighter than they used to be but overall compared to what it was i'm really really happy with how they turned out oh there's a rabbit watch out little guy <laughs> can see them now that I got these LED headlights in there. So thank you guys for checking out my video and we'll see you next time.